Hey everyone, today we're going to make leader stats so that you can basically display players' data on the screen. So let's get into it. First thing we're going to do is go into server script service and add in a script, and we're going to rename this to leader stats. Now, to do this, we need to cr first of all we need to call a function when a player joins the game. To do that, we need to say game dot players. So that is this here uh, dot player added. So whenever a player joins the game, we need to say colon connect function and this will now call a function whenever a player joins if you don't know what a function is it's basically a block of code so we've got some code here and this code will be called when a player joins the game so let's make this code what we need to do is create a local leader stats variable so local leader stats equals instance dot new folder now what this does is it creates a variable called leader stats and it sets it to a new folder we've just made called, well, it doesn't have a name yet, but it's, this is a new folder we've just made. Now, when, in these brackets after the function, we need to add in the player, or PLR for short. This player is who joins the game. So when a player joins the game, that player is passed into here. Now, we need to make sure this folder is inside the player. So let's do comma player, and this will put the folder within the player. Now, we need to say leader stats, dot name equals leader stats and it has to be spelled like this all lowercase otherwise it will not work and that has now made our leader stats folder if we were to hit play you would see under players here we find our name and we have a folder called leader stats now let's go and give ourselves some coins do that we need to say local coins that's what i'm going to call this i'm just going to call it coins you can call it money anything you want equals instance dot new and this is going to be an int value so that an int is or it stands for integer is a whole number and rather than putting this one inside the player we're going to put it inside the leader stats like so now let's give these coins a name so coins dot name is going to be equal to i'm going to call it coins and we need to give it a value. So coins.value, by default, I'm going to give them 50 coins. If we were to hit play now, we've got 50 coins up here. And that is basically it. That's all there is to it. If you wanted more, if you wanted more values, you could copy all three lines here. Go down, paste them, and we'll call this gold here. So, and let's make that gold and gold. And I'll call that gold. And we're going to set that to... Maybe let's set it to 13 or maybe let, let's set it to set it to seven something a bit low And now if we hit play we've got two values you can have up to three values. I believe it's free I think it's free at once a bit old dear um, So there we go 50 coins and seven gold now if you want to change that you can click up where it says current client Go under players leader stats under your name uh, and go under view and then properties Click either the coins or the gold and you can change them in here like so and then I might change the gold to 14 and now if we go back to test and click current server it'll go back to the client and you can see it's changed and that's all there is to it that is how you make leader stats in Roblox now if you want to know how to save these values so when the player leaves and rejoins the game we've got a video on that it's called data stores you can find that video top right of the screen now or in the description and it will teach you how to make it so when the player leaves the game and rejoins, they keep their values. Which, of course, here we don't because we don't have that script. But if we did, then they would be able to keep the script. So make sure you go check that video out if you want to learn how to save this data. And I'll see you in the next video, everyone. So thanks for watching and goodbye.